All right. Since it's uh, the air conditioning's not working great, we're going to move as quickly as I can, which is not, not very good. All right, I can call the meeting of order. Please rise for the highest order. Congratulations to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Here. Mrs. Passio. Here. Mr. Lee. Here. Mr. Robinson. Here. Mr. Sakira. Here. Mrs. Kelly. Here. Mr. Fowler. Here. Mr. Wall. There. Mr. Wall. Here. Mr. Vassar. Here. Mr. Vassar. Here. Mr. Vassar. Here. Mr. Vassar. Here. Mr. Here. Mr. Vassar. Mr. Vassar. Here. And Mr. Kelly. Okay, public notice of this meeting pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act is begin by the clerk in the following manner. One posted on the bulletin board in our clerk's office on January 5th, 2022, and two emailed to the retrospect in current post on January 5th, 2022. First, we have the approval of minutes. A motion is in order for the approval of the minutes of July 26th and August 3rd meeting submitted by the clerk as each member has received copies of the same. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Ranieri, second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. Minutes are approved. Reports. We have the report of the uh, tax collector for the month of August. A total of $4,992,340.55 was collected in taxes and sewer rentals, $129,507.99 was collected. And all was turned over to the uh, treasurer. We have the um, treasurer's report for the period ending 831 22. And uh, total in our current fund account is $5,054,302.81. Is we have the report of the Registrar of Vital Statistics for the month of August, a total of uh, $1,780 uh, $1, was collected for death copies and marriage copies. All monies were turned over to the treasurer. We have the report of the borough clerk for the uh, month of August. A total of $37,885 was collected for street openings, certified lists, and licensing. All monies were turned over to the treasurer. We have the report of the fire marshal for the month of August. Uh, fire fees collected were in August were $3,480. There were 72 inspections done and no fire rain violations or fire investigations. All monies were turned over to the treasurer. And that was all I have. All right, thank you. Would someone like to make a motion to approve the reports? I'll make that motion. And I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Lawless, nine second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Public hearing. Uh, this portion of the meeting is open to the public. Anyone wishing to speak on Ordinance 22-10, which is an ordinance creating murals in public art. Uh, this is your opportunity. You might want to move that uh, microphone. I don't know how that got so well. Come on, they've been working all day in here. The system's going in. Oh. <coughs> Our system. Our system. That's great. Thanks, Dan. Nice job, David. Thank you. My name is David Steinberg. I'm in 825 East on the street road. Uh, 313. Uh, I wanted to just, I, I uh, requested that a copy of the ordinance, proposed ordinance, be sent to me earlier today. And I was advised by a clerk that uh, the, the change was one that was agreed to. So the change simply uh, was stating that the original uh, ordinance that was advertised called for public hearing and notification by certified base. Because it's not necessarily a variance, the consent, the, well, not the consensus, but enough of us felt that by having at least a meeting where council approves, approves it, it is a public hearing, uh, gives at least a little bit of oversight on this process. So tonight, we are to talk about the one you have. And if you could do me a favor, after you're done speaking, if you could hand that out for us. 
I'd like to walk that on this evening. Okay, uh, that, that was my, my next question. But I, but also about the ordinance, there was something in there, the original ordinance about a fee of $50? There may still be a fee for $50. I think the only thing, there is a cost to, to run government. Well, of course, I, and, and I understand that. Um, but I would like to I would like to point out to council that when you apply for a sign permit, it's only $25. So that's good. We'll raise that next time. Pardon me? <laughs> we'll raise the, we will raise the cost of the sign permit. Okay. Is there any way to reduce the cost of the bill? I don't think that's, uh, I, I don't agree with that. I mean, it's up to council, but this is your opportunity to speak. I mean, they can consider it. Okay, I would request that, uh, respectfully request the council best consider the voter to pay for $25. Okay. Can I ask you one question? Sure. The mural that was done at uh, Chilcote's Forest, what was the total cost of that mural? Uh, that was a grant. Uh, and ask I said, how much did it cost? Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. Thank you. Okay. okay. Um, now I do have. I only have copies. Uh, copies of both both uh, proposed, which I'd like to submit. I only brought two copies. That's good. So um, it was emailed to everyone that yeah. to help us out, and then you know. Because what we're going to do is we're going to walk this on this evening. This is because we don't have an application at this point. I'm hoping that council can, can look at this and this will be typical. This is all done. No, no, it's not. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else want to speak on the mural ordinance? Seeing no one else, is there a motion to close the public portion? I make a motion to close the public portion. Oh, second. Motion by Ms. Passage, second by Mr. Robinstein. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Public portion is closed. Would someone like to make a motion? On what? On this ordinance. The I'll make a motion to adopt the second final oh, reading. Yeah, I have a question. Are we raising it? It only is it. Oh, we did, sir. He was suggesting the lower Oh, I'm sorry. We could possibly do that after. Sorry about that. You can always amend it. You're always saying you're always saying. We require you. I would, I would no, say that if we amend it, you'd have to start the process. <laughs> no. Okay. 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 I, uh, I uh, make a motion to adopt the second final reading and advertise according to law. Is there a second? I'll second. Motion by Mr. Neary, second by Mr. Spiro. Roll call, please. Well, first, any other discussion? Roll call. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lawrence. Yes. Mrs. Bass here. Yes, but I will say that I am disappointed that the section of notification to our neighbors was taken out. It's probably going to I know we can. Mr. Spiro. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes, and I agree with Patty on that, too. Uh, Mr. Veneri. Yes. All right. The ordinance is adopted. Ordinance 2211 is an ordinance to amend the code of the Federal Run Meeting in the County of Camden. Do not block the box. This is for Wawa. This is painting the uh, box in front of the entrance on Constitution. Uh, this portion of the meeting is open to the public. Any motion to choose? Speak on this ordinance, please come to the microphone, state your name and address. Seeing no one, is there a motion to close the public portion? I make a motion to close the public portion. Is there a second? Yes, All right, motion by uh, Ms. Passio, second by Mr. Farrell. All in favor? Aye. All right, public portion is closed. Would someone like to make a motion? I want to make a motion to adopt on the second and final reading and advertise according to the law. Is there a second? I'll second that motion. Right, motion by Mr. Robinstein, second by Ms. Passio. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Sapiro. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mr. Neary. Yes. All right. The ordinance is ordinance 2212. It's an ordinance. I, I believe this is the doesn't say it's the chicken. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we call it the chicken. <laughs> um, this portion of the meeting is open to the public. Anyone wishing to speak, please come to the microphone, state your name and address. Seeing no one, is there a motion to close the public? I'll make a motion to close the public portion. I'll second. <laughs> motion by Ms. Passio, second by Mr. Neary. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Our public portion is closed. Would someone like to make a motion to adopt? Make a motion to adopt the second final reading and advertise according to law. Is there a second? Is 
there a second? I'll second that motion. By Ms. Passio. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. No. Mr. Lobinson. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Sapiro. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. And Mr. Neary. Yes. All right, the ordinance is adopted. Wow. Government. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we have uh, committee reports now. Mr. Ranieri, finance. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, so the plan is going to Thank you. Public seat, Ms. Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. The police department report for August 1016. Calls for service, 314 traffic summonses, 24 motor vehicle crashes, 100 arrests. Only two hours of overtime. That's amazing. Three bike patrol shifts. It was a busy time. We had a lot going on. Bike patrols. Yeah, okay. bike patrol. That's right. Yeah, well. <laughs> And no Narcan deployment. Fire marshal's report. Um, 72 inspections. Year to date collected $44,983.89. Property maintenance report from Buck Clinton. Two total. Uh, we had 39 complaints, 22 re inspections, 51 CO inspections. 15 reinspections and four court summonses issued. That's high. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, so let's let's look at that next month. You know, see if we can keep that to a normal level. Which normally we only have zero or one summons issued. So that's a little high. Then I have the fire department, the fire division report. The month of August handled 51 calls for service. It included 35 within the borough of Runnymede and 16 mutual aid to our surrounding communities. During the month, they met with the Insurance Safety Office to reevaluate our rating in Runnymede. October of 2014 was the last time an ISO evaluation was done. This impacts what you pay for fire insurance in your homeowners. So if our rating has gone up, that means we're going to pay less for our homeowners. So we don't know the result of the inspection, but I'll keep you posted on that. Okay. I have an EMS report from uh, our one of the EMS. They had 54. Now, this is limited service. They're only operating nine to three, Six. five days a week. So for the month of August, they had 54 calls. And they received mutual aid one time. And they uh, had 17 times they shared service with other uh, communities. So year to date, they had 1,052. And basically, they're holding their own. They're doing their job. They're getting there within three minutes. To the, to the people that call, and uh, it's, it's working out during the daytime, fine. So Barrington covers our evenings and weekends. Thank you, Kim. And um, Barrington, for the month of August, had 129 transports, 57 refusals, 41 recalls and two standbys. 
that on arrival was one person. Total dispatches were 266 for the month. They handled uh, mutual aid. 13% of the calls were mutual aid. And mutual aid provided um, for other towns, that was. So Barrington average response time was 228. And the lo to get to the location is 3.86 minutes. 40 transports um, equals 58.8% of the transports, they were for Barrington. 31% of the total transports were for Barrington. Hatton Heights, I'll give you Runnymede. Runnymede average response time was 2.19 minutes. Runnymede average on location time, 5.55. Runnymede transports, 42 transports, for 59% of the transports, 32 of our local transports were for Runnymede. So they're really very active. I see them in town all the time as I, as I run through the streets. So I think that it's working out very well. I know that Patty had reason to call on them and she was very pleased with the uh, results. I'm alive, so I'm very, I'm very pleased. <laughs> he was very pleased with the results. Ms. Cummings, so, one thing I, I want to point out, I hope everybody's seeing, the daytime shift, we only received one time that another town come in to us, and we went out 17 times. Yeah. So what that means is we're helping our neighbors, which is really what changed from the past. And Barrington is actually almost even there. They're helping neighbors and, 12, and yeah, receiving. One, it's 13 percent and 12 yeah, yeah. It's, it's almost even, which is what it should be. Now, I'm not saying we need to make any changes right now, but it does show that there's a, there's a need for this service. Yes, absolutely. And that's Okay, thank you. All right, public events. Okay, I have some events, so um, I'm going to try to be as brief as I can. Uh, <laughs> Mayor and Council always honor our seniors on the third Saturday with the luncheon. And the next meeting will be September 17th. They, they are closed for July and August. They have no meetings, so it'll be at noon on the 17th, and we'll have a nice lunch, and I haven't decided yet what we're going to have, but it should be there. Um, there is early voting in, uh, in the Senior Center, which begins on Saturday, October 29th, and runs through Sunday, November 6th. Sundays are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays and Saturdays are from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. The gym on November 1st will be open for flu shots from 10 to 1. Uh, the borough will be having their annual townwide weekend yard sale on September 24th and September 25th from 8 o'clock in the morning to until 2. And please, um, I'm just going to ask you, but please, if you can bring your things in on Saturday night and put them back out on Sunday, that would be appreciated. We're going to have a shredding event. The borough will have a shredding event in front of the borough parking lot on uh, Saturday, September 24th from 10 to 1 and November 6th from 10 to 1. Um, again, if everything turns out okay, we'll be having our Halloween party at the field house from 6.30 to 8.30, one Halloween night. And of course, there's always contests, food, beverages, games, and uh, looking forward to uh, getting back to the somewhat more. Uh, the seniors, uh, I just got a phone call from uh, Commander today and they are having their VFW spaghetti dinner for the seniors on October 23rd at 2 p.m. at the VFW. With that, I say progress. All right, thank you. Not coming on. Mm -hmm. All right, Engineer. Thank you, Mayor. I didn't make caucus. I talked to uh, Mark and he said he's going to go with his caucus report. Okay. So, uh, well, I saw the work being done on that report. So you driving around to see what's going on? Okay, good. You know, they were working on forest um, all for the yeah. past two weeks. So. Are they still going to work on forest? Yeah, they're doing the water company. Right? Is it the water and gas company working first? So is that done? That's not, that's not part of the road project. That's just them going in. They have to be done before the road gets They just have to be going in. We didn't know anything about it. Oh. Oh no, they were they they were they, they knew about it. Mark, Mark. Because they were playing to the three knots, South Jersey Gas and American Water were aware we're reconstructing the floors. So they jumped in 
before the road got paved because it's a five year more for it. Okay. So, so, so are they done? South Jersey Gas and American Water are done in that portion. Yeah. Yeah. So then we can start yeah. when? Waiting for the contract to be in the schedule. They have, they have the authorization to go ahead. I just need uh, to get their uh, schedule. So soon? Yes. And then the easement, I believe you met with the gentleman on the corner. Uh, our attorney's going to look up. I think we're close. I think you had a recommend, a potential recommendation to put a stop sign there. Do you, do you like that idea? You're allowed to say yes or no. We have to look into it. I have to talk to the chief to see if that's an issue. But if there's a site clearance issue at that corner, <coughs> okay. it might be bad. So it might be it top of the boat one there. It doesn't. It has to meet criteria. It can't just be for speed. It has to be for safety reasons. And if you can't see cars coming around the corner, then they would put it as a two-way stop sign. So you would put it as a three-way We have to look into it. You okay with that, Chief? I mean, if that's... If why, that, did, why did you suggest a stop sign? I did not. The, the gentleman who has to grant us the... It's not the easement. It's actually selling us that corner. Right. Um, he had some concerns. That corner is difficult. Mm -hmm. And one of his suggestions, maybe one of the neighbors, suggested a stop sign. When Mark was out there, and uh, I saw the email. I know the other attorney. Um, you left me. We left me drawing. No, you left. You were, you couldn't have been more clear. I went to his house several times. Yeah, the mayor goes to people's houses and gives them drawings. He does beware. So. Uh, <laughs> We're going to work on that. I will say this, and I'm saying it in the public. If we cannot get the ground from him, we need to stop the road before his house because there's no reason to fix that intersection if we can't fix that, that turn. So, you agree with that? No, you don't like that, but I think we stopped it. At the end it's clear it's because it's in the best interest of that. It's in the right. best interest of the project. If you're not going to fix that problem, there's no reason right. to repaint the road. Um, is there anything else that do you want to just go away for Mr. Yeah. Okay. You know, wait. Yeah. Normally you don't get well you do get right. I'm sorry. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> anything else? All right, thank you. Public works, Mr. Wallace. Um the only thing's going to public works right now, they're prepping for the uh, fall week season. The uh, two of the uh, vehicles or two of the trailers are being fixed right now being serviced. The scout building and windows are in. Uh, school areas uh, that are being, the yellow stripes are being painted. Uh, around town, they're redoing uh, the stop bars at the stop signs, which is the paint on the ground. And uh, normal upkeep and maintenance as usual, and they're also getting the Brian system ready. Uh, oh, man, don't say that. Craig, can I ask you a question? Yes. You know, we have a problem uh, coming out of Pine Street with the cars coming down far Avenue from Schubert. And we put in a yellow strip there so that people in the apartment don't park in front of their apartments. Mm -hmm. That it's not yellow anymore. What happened to it? Well it uh, it faded. Uh, and most likely I guess. I don't know. Chief, do you know anything about that? It's not painted anymore. When they redid that in an It's uh passive. I think we just should repaint. That's all that happened. Yeah. It's routine maintenance. It's on the books as in not no parking. We'll just repaint it and make sure there's not a problem. Yeah. You're talking about for the stop sign back. Yeah. It's just it's maintenance. Okay. Thank you, Craig. Yeah. Everyone's parking. Okay. Uh, parks and recreation. Basically, public works is doing a good job having field work for fall ball for baseball. Softball and soccer. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Soccer fields look good. Yeah. Uh, softball is having three teams this fall. Baseball is having six teams this fall. Oh. And baseball is having also has two travel teams. Very two of you on 14 weeks. They have that in the years. Most of the kids are running the kids. Spring over uh, out of towers. But it's looking good. Yeah. Um, I apologize. I did get a request. I don't know if you heard it. Uh, the men's travel team playing back on the Old field, which yeah. you thought you um, right the microphone. Right. Yeah. Make sure they're recorded. The one at the oh, okay. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I mean, um, 
I mean, you know, I, I think we should just be three natives for soccer. You think it'd be tough if the men go back in there? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But then we have to build it again. Or there's a men's team that wants to use that field. That field it still has a backstop. That's all it has. That's all it has. There's no base to pay. Yeah, that's all. It has. And I thought soccer. Not just that, but that the rain over there, the water. I, I think I used to get real bad and come play for days. That used to be that used to be my home field yep. years ago. And if there was a rain out, you couldn't play there for two weeks. Then wow. It was just the suggestion that this, yeah. this, this group had said. Yeah. Can I come to you and talk to you too? Jeremy mentioned it to me a little bit. And I was like, the, uh, you know, I the, the fence is gone too. There was a fence in the woods. Yeah, the only thing that's back there is the backstop is still there. Yeah, that's what it's like. But that's yeah. it. Yeah. I, I don't think it's a good idea. But I'm talking about your decision. That's in the big little See, it says right here, Parks and Recreation. That's why it was the most fancy name. I mean, yeah. It feels like a problem. Yes. It has been a big problem. It's been a problem for 30 years ago. Yeah, no matter how much dirt they pour on it, it doesn't matter. It's a swamp. We're going to let Jeremy know that it's just not true. Okay. Thank you. He's still on call. So good. I know he's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, solicitors. Uh, solicitors. Yeah. A lot of writing, as you can as you can see, a lot of uh, irons in the fire, but not really for public consumption. We had the executive session last week where we, we kind of talked through some of that. Okay. And some folks are here. Well, uh, if there's any questions on that, you all know how to reach. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Engineer's report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, we don't rely mostly on my report from the caucus as a follow up um, on uh, Forest Avenue. We're still waiting on our schedule. If, oh, yes. And if we if we want to install the curb, we could, but we'd have to go out the sidewalk. I don't know if we want to do that. If we don't get that right of entry or that easement, do I? We're just going to stop. Short. Stop on the other side. Okay. So we'll coordinate. Do you know when a decision on that? The attorney that represents the Oma didn't seem to understand the what the purpose was. I forwarded your message with the drawings. Okay. We've communicated. I think we've been crystal clear from the chain okay, from the outset. All right. Um, Maybe Mark, you can do a better job of explaining them that we're just moving the curb and sidewalk so that the I laid out where they're going to go. I went out there and painted for him where the new curb and the sidewalk would be. In fairness, we're not the fastest operating professional. Mm -hmm. so, uh, we know that. And you know what? <laughs> you know what? The only other thing is uh, Harry invited me to a pre construction meeting tomorrow with South Jersey Gas because they're going to be paving the Black Horse Pike. I don't know anything about the schedule. I believe he said state police are taking care of uh, traffic control, but if I learn anything else, I can update you when and where, but I haven't what heard part of Black Horse Pike is going to get done? South Jersey Gas was doing main installation along Where the shore. damage they did, they're required by the state to repair it. So it's not our case. Yeah, but they might be paving on some side streets, which is why we're meeting oh. with them as well, because they oh. did go round well, they came down the lane, and you talking about that? Yeah. Well, as part of the Black Horse Pike, they'll wrap around the radiuses and then terminate there. Okay. And, uh, but I will update. So that's all the mess that's over at the Waffle Hall. Yes. So that's why you have repaid. I don't know the schedule, but I'll update you after the part of three. Okay. That's all I have. Unless anybody has any questions. Okay. Thank you. 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 Uh, this is a public portion. Anybody wants to get up and speak about the resolutions we're going to do? This is your opportunity. I have one question. You're going to, is this about one of the resolutions? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. That I didn't speak up. Who's going to enforce this to not block it? That's a different, uh, that's not what we're talking about. Sir! That's not it. We already voted yes. It's already done. Yeah, but we still need to enforce it. All right, well, enforcement will be a place. Um, okay, is there any other? No, saying no, would someone like to make a motion to close the public? I'll make a motion to close the public portion. I'll second that. Motion was passed here, second by Mr. Lobstein. All in favor? Aye. It's only on these resolutions. We'll have another public portion at the end. Yeah. Uh, just to move quickly, I, I'm not going to ask questions. I'll do them one at a time. Uh, resolution 22122 is a resolution authorizing property maintenance liens. Uh, I'm going to do a couple, if there's no objection. Resolution 22113 is a resolution authorizing a local service agreement for the county for uh, furnishing uh, sodium chloride. And then we pay, we, we plow Schubert. Resolution 
2214 is a resolution authorizing shared service agreement between the Barrow and the Rhode School District for the school security officer. Resolution 2215 is a resolution authorizing a local service agreement between the county and the Barrow in conjunction with the Governor's Council on Alcohol and Drug Abuse. This is the Municipal Alliance Grant. And I'm going to stop it there because we have a point for the next one. So uh, there's a motion in order for resolutions 22112 through 22115. I'll make that motion. To approve? Yep. Motion by Mr. Lomas, Mr. Farrell. Roll call, please. Mrs. Passman? Yes. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Longstone? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Mr. Spiro? Yes. And Mr. Mayor? Yes. All right, those resolutions are adopted. Uh, resolution 22116, I just wanted to break these couple out. Uh, resolution confirming 2022 appointments. Our substitute technical assistant to the construction official, uh, Carol, who is the technician over at Barrington, is helping us out while Diane is on vacation. Um, she will be working as needed with an hourly rate. Uh, resolution 22117 is a resolution authorizing, authorizing Carlos Castro to take the fire subcode official classes. As you know, our subcode official has uh, given us his 30 day notice. This will start the process for him. Uh, he's our building subcode official to get his license. And I'm going to do, I'll do the next two if there's no, oh, next one, and I'll, I'll stop. Resolution 22118. The resolution certifying the governing, governing body has received the 2021 audit. That's what everybody said. Yep. So, would someone like to make a motion on those three resolutions? I'll make a motion approving item uh, resolution 22116 through 22118. Thank you. I'll second that motion. All right, motion by Mr. Ranieri, second by Ms. Passio. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Mrs. Payne? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Yes. And Mr. Sapiro. Yes. All right, those resolutions are adopted. Uh, we have resolution 22119. Apologize. Ms. Passio and Mr. Ranieri and I, several months ago, started this process. If everybody could turn to that page, I want you guys to see this resolution. Um, the reason is is that we've been part of our ARP funding. We said that we were going to support the local businesses. And this money has been carved out in our application. So we had to start granting this money, or we had the potential of losing it. So the way this resolution is, is, is drawn up is it basically it's council um, authorizing up to this amount. Now, why do I say up to? Because the applicant still must prove it's a reimbursement. So through the finance department, the treasurer will make sure, bless you, that they spent the money, that they prove that they spent the money, that it falls into the criteria of a program, but at least gets us started. Matching dollars, right? It's a matching, it's a matching grant, basically. But it's a, it's a reimbursement so to spend the money for. It. So, for example, it's public record. One of, one of the examples is uh, uh, Grade Point, which is across the street. All the work is pretty much done, but our application allows them because it happened in this, in, during the pandemic time. They just have to prove that they, they spent over ten thousand dollars and they'll receive five thousand from us. So, if there's no objections, these are the, the first. Few, um, I think we allocated one hundred allocated one hundred thousand dollars. So this does five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-seven, fifty. So it's a start. Now, all these applications still have a little bit of work to do to get this money, but at least it's our commitment to them, showing that we're willing to do this. They just have to finish up and get their applications filled in and get the receipts. Right there. Is there a year? that they have to do this within? We have two years to spend this money, is that correct? Or my yes. Two years. Two years. So we still have a lot to spend. 22 and 23? We have a lot to spend. So what we could do is a second round. So for example, some of these property owners have spent way more than $10,000. I think our thought process when we looked at it was to try to spread it out. But before we give up the money, we can always ask for a second round. Or just simply use these applications and increase their there are a lot. So we're not going to get the money back to them. No, 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 no. We'll spend it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, would someone like to make a motion on that particular resolution? I'll make a motion. To approve. I'll second that motion. Yeah. Mr. A motion by Mr. Neri to approve. Second by Ms. Passio. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. 
Mr. Fowler? Yes. Mr. Sapiro? Yes. And Mr. Ramirez? Yes. We have a couple more things to do this evening, but I, I do want to get the payment of bills out, so I don't forget. Uh, payment of bills, would someone like to make a motion to pay the monthly bills? I'll make a motion to pay the monthly bills. I'll second that motion. Motion by Ms. Passio, second by Ms. Kelly. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Lobenstein? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Powell? Yes. Mr. Sapiro? Yes. And Mr. Ramirez? Yes. Sorry. Okay, at this point, um, it's not on the agenda, but we know we knew we invited uh, our previous applicant to come up. And if you could, introduce yourself and anybody else you wish to introduce. Let me just say this is informal as we always are. Uh, all we're looking for is the general information that you want to uh, convey to us, council, uh, with the adoption of the new ordinance that we did for cannabis, one of the cannabis ordinance? Yeah, we should, though. Oh, first. Yes. That's a first day. We're going to have to walk that on. Uh, you can still speak because thank you for reminding me. We're going to open that back up again. So the cannabis ordinance, the amendment to the cannabis ordinance was twofold. One was there was a, a fatal flaw in the process of collecting money. You wanted to make sure our ordinance followed the law to collect the money. I would say addition, not a fatal flaw, but additional guidance. How about that? No, it wasn't a flaw. It's just guidance. And then you want to do it first or you want to? I'm already going. Well, I'm letting you uh, hear the, so the last part of it is, after speaking to the, to the uh, CRC, their government relations uh, coordinator, uh, he made it very clear that council is required to submit a resolution in support of these licenses. So we have a process, the applicants need to go through the process. Once they go through the process, the council must submit a resolution supporting that determination. So. The step is to go to, to get the conditional use from the state, go to the planning board, excuse me, the zoning board, get conditional use from them. Then it'll be council's decision to support that application. I would recommend that after, after the planning, the zoning board does their due diligence, that we should expedite our decision only because there's time constraints on the applicants and there's, there's costs that they would incur and they need to know that council supports or denies their application. We have a limited number. We're not going to change from two to four. I think that was discussed briefly. Doesn't mean we can't change it in the future. Doesn't mean we can't amend our ordinance. But at this point, we're, we're, we're going to start with two and then evaluate. That's the retail right now. Retail. Just four total, two retail. Right. Okay. The floor is now yours. Thank you. Uh, nice to be back. Uh, I'm Ted Costa. I'm an attorney. It's my pleasure to. Uh, to introduce to you my uh, clients, and uh, and uh, you have the brain trust today, actually. Uh, our uh, team consists of uh, not just the operators, not just the people in the nitty gritty, but also the financiers, who are also involved in other cannabis establishments in other states, by the way. We've got one fellow here who has the uh, biggest dispensary in the East Coast, in Massachusetts. Um, an amazing guy, too. Uh, he's, uh, his resume is quite impressive, uh, I think, of mine. He uh, actually has a number of healthcare uh, uh, facilities. He's licensed by the state of New Jersey in so many things. Uh, and one of the one of his uh, one of the things he does is finance and get involved in cannabis establishments, both uh, retail and uh, and uh, cultivation as well. So I'm really pleased to have this group here. We also have uh, the guy who's going to be there day to day. He's here. Uh, he's the licensed operator uh, on the uh, conditional license thing you may have in front of you. And we also have someone who's going to be here almost every day, who's here by in Bridgeton. Uh, he runs actually a uh, incubator, uh, was it? Business incubator. A business incubator, hooked up with uh, the colleges as well. In any event, he, he's a guy who puts people together, and he's got an interest in this business too. Um, even your, your, the landlord, which I happen to know these guys, because I'm one of them, uh, the landlord is also involved in this as well. So we all have an interest in seeing this to a success. Today I'm here to ask you to, uh, <clears throat> to modify the existing resolution, which you were so kind to give us before, a few months back, to the, uh, the name for this team, which is called Greenhouse Gardens LLC. Same location, it's, it's our, our uh, the old police station. We own it, and I'm sure you're all, all familiar with it. And we think it's an ideal location for this type of retail business. Um, 
Now, I'd like to introduce you to the guys. Um, it's okay with you, Mr. Mayor. Sure, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Uh, let's just start uh, right here. Come on, come on. Introduce yourself. Terry and Ford. Just feel here. Alex Rostowski, uh, I'm doing Edison. Uh, I'm a business incubator uh, for the supply chain for cannabis based in Bridgeton. We're very closely with the, uh, the city council there, as well as the city council in Atlantic City, where we're working with another dispensary and uh, we're doing a lot of work across the state to tie our supply chain of independent operators to uh, distribution through retail of other independent operators so they can compete against the multi-state operators from California, Oregon, Massachusetts, and they get a fighting shot. So we're here to sort of tie them together across the investment group that I work with who's supporting the company's location and the operator who's uh, coaching and supporting through the, the business incubation process. And you're one of the responsible people who's going to be there occasionally, right? Yes, I'll be here on a regular basis and probably come to city council meetings as well. I go to every city council meeting in Bridgeton and you'll see my face. So good to, good to meet all of you. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, the licensed operator. Come forward, sir. What's your name? Hello, good evening. I'm Daniel Abraham. I'm uh, basically a resident of New Jersey my whole life. I was born and raised in Morris County, Dover specifically. Um, you know, I'm the owner and uh, conditional license holder for Greenhouse Garden LLC. So basically, you know, this wonderful group of people that are behind me are associates that, you know, are financially, materially, you know, consulting me and, and basically just, um, you know, supporting this entire project. So what, what I'm trying to do here basically is kind of put my experience in retail with a lot of their experience in cannabis to make this a successful project. And we think Runway can be a really good place where we can do this and just provide a lot of opportunity, jobs, tax revenue, and things like that. You look, you look. How old are you? I'm 29. And, and can you explain? Yes. Yeah. Could you explain to council? Ted, when you were here before, we had a different name. Yeah. And just so the idea that your application was in a different county, but the state does allow for your license to be transferred. Basically, not transferred, but you can apply anywhere. Exactly. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah. The license we have, the additional license that, that the gentleman has, is good for anyone in the state. He wants to bring in one of me and only one of me, right? Yeah. Okay, not only that, but I believe the gentleman has an announcement as to where he wants to live. So the idea would be if I'm able to get the resolution amended, I would relocate myself, you know, based, you know, off of the, obviously the pending resolution, the license within the town and everything, but I would become a resident of Burnaby myself, so I'd be close to the actual operation and be there day to day. I'd be the, you know, the face of basically the, the company at that point, so I would want to make sure that I'm based here and, you know, I can have a good relationship with you and obviously the people of the town. Thank you. The guy has the track record running a furniture out of business and outfit and he was very successful in that. And so much that the financiers looked at him, studied him, and said, this is the guy. We want him. We want him to move into the community and be the day-to-day -day presence. Right? Ted, just to correct one thing. Yeah. If we amend the resolution that's already been approved, yeah. I wouldn't say move yet. Mm -hmm. Because it's, then it's planning board, state, and then us. And then when we pass that resolution, maybe then it would be OK. But hold the phone on just that right now because it's still an early step in the process, but it's an important step nonetheless. I just want to put that Thank out. you. Nothing yeah. serves in life. Right? Nothing serves. Right, exactly. Thank you, sir. Uh, come on up, Gary. Gary Gershuni. He's not a very impressive person. My goodness, I know a little bit about him, but this guy is actually one cannabis cultivation places and other, other cannabis establishments in California, right? Yeah. Uh, so. For several years, right? Yeah. And he's got a tremendous amount of financial business experience. Say something about yourself. Okay. I, nice to meet you. I'm Gary Gertrini. Um, I have a long history in finance, finance major. I worked for Waterhouse for almost 20 years. And um, before, I owned uh, three corporations and a retail store in LA that from 2014 to about 2018, at which point I uh, came back from a business perspective to the East Coast and I partnered up with. Jeeps over there, and we've really spent a lot of effort in New Jersey supporting, you know, social equity candidates to be able to rise to this industry. It's a hard industry to get into. It's hard because you need a lot of operational experience, not just, you know, you need the retail side, you also need all of the different components, and I'm one of the few people probably on the East Coast that has that kind of experience. You know, from the West Coast because I did own a, own a store there for a number of years. 
Um, I'm actually also a license holder that's on uh, Alan's, Alan's incubator business in Bridgeton. So I um, bring a lot of a lot of years of finance and finance experience to the, to the field. And um, you know, we're really here. We just want to be successful today. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, please put that last. Last but not least. Shiggy, come on up. I never met a Shiggy before. Hi, everybody. Uh, Hi. Shiggy Rosenberg. I've been telling you about these all kinds of state licenses at the Wazoo and other businesses. Tell them about yourself. So, I, I'm, I'm a regular guy. I kind of got lucky that I got to get into business with uh, these fellows. Um, I'm, a, I'm in the healthcare space. I uh, have a nursing agency. Um, we provide behavioral health care to the community. Um, we provide skilled nursing therapies in North Jersey and ABA uh, services throughout the state. Um, I'm also an investor in pharmacy, so we do home delivery. We understand um, regulatory compliance and uh, all the things that make uh, license holding uh, a tricky, a tricky business. Um, so you know, it's my it's my honor to be investing uh, in the cannabis space, the emergence of new uh, industry yeah, in New Jersey. Um, I'm also involved in the incubator. Uh, Alan did an amazing thing with the, the city of Richmond, uh, and uh, he already has uh, other cities and towns. Um, calling in to figure out how they did and what they did and what the benefits are. Um, it's an amazing thing. So, uh, so this is kind of the team that we put together. We have a lot of confidence in Danny uh, and his ability to run a shop. Uh, we think that you know, from, a, from a business perspective, um, it's a great location. It's so well situated um, and can bring a lot of benefit to the town uh, and to Danny uh, as an applicant. And that's important for the state to see that the the town is um, endorsing uh, the application. Your willingness to have a store in the town uh, makes economic sense, and your willingness to support a specific applicant, um, obviously, you know, is why we're here tonight. So uh, we're, we're here for your vote of confidence. So that's my question. Yeah. At this point, though, with the conditional license, you no longer need a supportive of, for your application at this point. Your, your next step would be to go in front of the zoning. Correct? Right. We did file an application. It's deemed incomplete, so we'll be supplementing it with some other things. Okay. But I mean, as for the state's condition, you don't need us to amend the honey. Do you need that amended? Yeah, Is that what you're asking? We need, so I you mean, need that. So just to be clear, what we would add to the agenda tonight. It's an amendment please. of the prior residence. It would be an amendment of the prior residence, changing the name, with us supporting the application at this stage until you get through the code, uh, the conditional use with our zoning board, then it comes back to us, correct? Right. Ted, if I understood you correctly, we're just changing the name from the prior resolution. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The old guys, by the way, the ones we had on before, they never got their license. Uh, so that's how, that's how it works with this We're thing. all learning. We're learning. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. So anyway, uh, you can have a seat. Thank, thank you, Shiggy. Thank you. 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 So we, I'm just trying to tell everybody that this is a heck of a dream team. Uh, it takes a lot of money to get this thing in progress. I've advised it a good half million dollars right away just setting things up in the premises between security detail, this, that, uh, setting, just remodeling the whole thing. So we got a good team to put together to make a success of it. Uh, the landlords want to make a success of it naturally, uh, and uh, we'd like to do good for the county. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let me just uh, hold the, the council a little bit. Does everyone understand what the, the idea here is just to amend the previous resolution, putting the new name? Once again, we've not we've not approved the license yet. We're giving everyone an opportunity. So everyone is clear. We have multiple people looking for these two licenses, which we were not expecting at all. I was extremely surprised that Runnymede has become a destination for marijuana. I do not intend to be mayor of marijuana. Let me make it very clear. It's not my cannabis. Commander cannabis, cannabis, no. I told you, baby, it's not your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Or Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Shabon. Uh, they want to be named Shabon. Shabon. Yeah, so at this point, you know, the process tries to move forward. We do understand this is a little bit of a horse race. We do understand that there's costs and expenses, and we want to do our part to minimize that for all of you so that we make a decision. Now, the, the, 
the ordinance we're gonna we're gonna amend tonight hopefully helps us with this application process so that we and I believe as soon as the zoning board does their conditional use, council needs to almost immediately <coughs> let people know that, that that application is good. You know, I know this is strange. I don't believe we should be picking winners and losers. I, I really don't believe this at all. It's not in my background that I think businesses should do whatever they want to do. But um, in this case, the state's forcing our hand and saying we have to provide a resolution sure. approving. One last thing I can tell you about, you may as know this, there's a shortage of product in New Jersey for a few years. So there's a scramble to get cultivators online. This group has their cultivators online. Right? They're ready to go. Other, other retailers may not have their cultivation process ready to go. All right? And that's just more money for the town as, as well as everybody else. Appreciate the information. That's my business. Okay, good. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. Um, once again, I would advise that the plan getting on the, get, you have to get on the zoning board as quickly as possible with a good, good application that shows what you guys intend to do. Thanks. So at this point, I would entertain, uh, I guess it should be a resolution. Well, okay, to a resolution to amend the prior okay. resolution changing the. So name. resolution 22120 would be a resolution amending the prior approval. Yes, that. Um, of honey. Yes. Just to make it clean, I was wondering if you could. Make a fresh revolution with a name on it, uh, and then uh, under the first resolution, is that possible? I would rather amend because it was the prior one. Yeah, okay. and I think I think it's in your best interest that we do it that way as well. Amendment, yeah. I think. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So it's amendment, amendment supporting the resolution. I'll make a motion to uh, amend resolution twenty-two one twenty. Amend the previous. Amend the previous resolution. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay. Yeah. Is there a second? All right, motion, uh, motion by Mr. O'Neary, second by Ms. Patsy. So, any other discussion? Okay, roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Rothenstein. Yes. Mrs. Patsy. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Mr. Sapiro. Yes. Mr. O'Neary. Yes. All right, the resolution is adopted. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I always forget. Congratulations. All right, so now we're going to do our cannabis ordinance. All right, so. Uh, this is nice. uh, Ordinance number. I think it's 13. 22-13. 22 Do we have a 12 somewhere? Let me just. Yeah. We did have a 22 12. Make it clear. That was the last one. Yeah. The only, no, the only no, line no. that's changed. Well, there's, 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 two, there's two parts. We'll, we'll do the first one. Well, no, so there's two aspects of this is that one, um, it, it codifies the process that the mayor spoke about a little more okay. formally with respect to coming uh, before mayor and council to issue the final license, the final municipal license, after the state of New Jersey gives their approval and after the planning and zoning board gives their approval. Uh, so that's, that, that's the first uh, change. And then the second is what Mrs. Kelly brought up to us last month, and it was the changes that Barrington had made uh, to provide a procedure on the tax collection and to make clear uh, that it is something that if there are delinquent taxes, we can treat it as though it's a lien, uh, like any other uh, owed amount, like a sewer bill or... Okay. What, what about the fees for uh, the application itself? And the, fee, the yearly fees? That so, was something else that was at Barrington. So what we need to do is... Adopt I, I, I used all of Barrington's and kept yeah. in some of ours, yes. Every, yeah, all of it. There's a fee. I don't remember seeing an application fee. I was told by the clerk it's a twenty five hundred dollar application fee. Yeah, that's not that's, it wasn't it, that wasn't in their words. That's what she told me. And I think we can set that a yearly fee also each year. So, so in our fee ordinance, what we can do is establish our fee for the application. Right, that might be good. But I it think it's not in their ordinance at that okay. time. Yeah, so if we amend our our fee ordinance, what we do is we'll create this application. Well I believe the application is going to just be reiterating what the state did. So if you submit as the state's application. That gets us 90% there. The chief signs off on the security plan. That gets us the next 5% there. The, well, not, I'm not, my percentages. So the, the conditional use gets us a little bit closer, and then the last step will be the council. Now, even though the ordinance specifically says that it says, um, Mayor Council shall be responsible for the issuance of final license. That's the words that, that we have. What I understand from the state, they're saying that we have the final say. So that's how long we have two tickets. We have two tickets. For the retail. For the retail. Uh, and that's about it. Is there any other things? Okay. 
Would someone like to make a, a motion to, uh, now this would be adopt on first reading, adopt on first reading and advertise uh, in a matter of court of law at the next council. Someone? No one wants to do it? Yes. I'll make a motion to adopt according to law. Yeah, I'm actually not on first reading. Okay, it's fine. Motion is 22-30. Is there a second? All right, motion by Mr. Ranieri, second by Mr. Sapiro. Any other discussion? I know I'm way out of order right now. You are out of order, so let us know. Roll call, please. Mrs. Carroll. Yes. Mr. Robinson. Yes. Mrs. Fascio. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mr. Sapiro. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. All right. The resolution, the witness is not adopted yet. So it's only first reading. So it gives us an opportunity to amend it before the clerk advertises it. So there might be an opportunity for us to tweak something before we advertise it in council. We'll do that. It's not until the public hearing that it becomes the law. We did that with the chicken ordinance. We did that with the mural ordinance. We did that with the. Uh, we could change everything. At the, I wouldn't say. The, it's productivity and open. It's open government. Open government. Collab. Ted, did you want to come back up again? Only that uh, we have the benefit of someone else's experience, and we're going to put it right in. I think that's great. Anything you can do to help us out yeah. would be very helpful. This is all new, I know. So. It's new, and we're not happy with the state, but we don't want to make a mistake, and uh, so we're trying to uh, be as fair as possible. Sure. Okay. Uh, I think that's all of our business. Okay, so then we're going to go to the public portion of the meeting. This portion of the meeting is open to the public. This allows Maria to come to the microphone and say your name and address. I'm glad we're calling me out like that. Yeah. And anyone else? <laughs> like you work out. We haven't seen you in a long time. I've been real busy at times. Okay. Name and address. Great answer, all at once. I'm in one by now. With regard to public works painting, like new white lines for stop signs. What's the question? Will they do where there wasn't white lines before? Don't know. You'll, you'll have to get with the uh, police chief on that if you have a question on that. Uh, since the since the gas company. In conjunction with the police. Okay, because I've been spray painting the white lines for about three years now. Um, when the gas company read it, they never painted the white lines. I have pictures. It's okay. Where? where? Street, when you get the There's a council person who was witness to me spray painting. Have you ever contacted the police about I did. She should have been arrested for arrest. And I contacted the diary. And I was told. I was told. The chief of work. I was told that the company that did the work for the gas company Supposed to do would be back to do it. But I reminded them one year, two years later. And I literally had spray paint, small stock that I go out and do it. Because if not, where Mrs. Kelly raised an issue, there's a lot of cars that don't stop there to even worry about what's parked on the right I Because I haven't been here in a while, and I've missed a couple of weeks, I may be slightly uninformed, but we were to regards to the police department. We had a retirement. We're already, well, I don't police officer afraid. Are there any? No. 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 She does a great job. I didn't say he does. I actually compliment the police. He's got a plan, we follow his plan. He's a planner. So we have, I mean, it's so We have a school resource officer, you as the school board member. I took his picture this morning as he was so traumatic. That was a good man. He was a good man. He held seven preschool classes and was checking on the schools. So like, are we replacing the captain or are we I have a plan. All right. I added, I, two years ago, I have a plan for everything. You know how prepared I am. I know. I listened to the plan mm -hmm. in a previous meeting, and here we are, and the plan must have changed. That's why I'm asking. No. The plan has changed. Are we I'm waiting to do the yeah, plan? But I'll, I'll speak to you after. But that, All right. That's, that mayor Council, have, I have your support on my plan. And I'm not saying we don't have support. And it started two years ago, and it, it, it it's going to end exactly the way I wanted it to end. Everything's in place. I'm only asking. Maria, I agree with the chief's plan. I'm not saying I don't agree with the chief's okay. plan. What are you saying? That I heard the plan, and my belief was that when the current, the previous captain retired, 
that there was a new captain, a new lieutenant, which we didn't have. And I'm just questioning. The council hasn't done all that yet. Okay. The, 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 let me clarify a little bit. The Please. captain is not necessarily retired at this point. He's still an employee until December 31st. So you cannot replace him until he's officially off the books. Okay. Okay? Does so that help you? Yeah. Maria, everything yes. takes time. It goes through a process. Understood. I'm just... Okay. We're all on the same page. Thank you. Please. Pine and what? So if you are... Pine and Davis. Pine and Davis. Pine and Davis. Pine and Davis. That's all you have to say. Pine and Davis. Okay. South Jersey Gas, they post a bond with us. They're supposed to do it. We can pull their bond. Yeah, three years ago. During this 2020. Actually, two years ago. Thank you. Anyone else? Oh, Dave. Oh, I have a question. Very oh, we Sorry. I did not choice earlier. I'm sorry. This house, their building is still not done. Yep. I've been in contact with them. They still need to use the building. I did not choice earlier. She stated Boy Scouts do not have their insurance certificate. They need to use it just the leaders and true leaders for a meeting tomorrow night. Do I have authorization to open? They, they never contacted me for any days that they would use it either. They're Can you get him to do it tomorrow and send everything over? I already talked to him today. I emailed him myself. He had to request, they had to request the insurance from the county council. It's, so then, it's not the insurance so much as the days that they want to use it. Same day of I never contacted They want to continue with their same schedule Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, he's going to have to send me that. Okay. The girls already contacted me. I already cleared it with, uh, with uh, our council with Kelly and with, uh, and with uh, there's about Mrs. Passage. There's about 50 boys. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get the dates that the women's conference did? I have that over there. there. I have it on my Did our, did our girl, no. what? I have that. It's not that. It's that the Boy Scouts need to tell me. Which day? They need to contact Joyce. That's what they need to do. Yeah, they just need to contact Joyce. And I emailed already, Mr. They Davis. need to provide their insurance. Correct. They do. They have to request it from a higher power. It doesn't work. It's government. They should have done it two yeah. months ago. Tomorrow. All right. Hey. Can I have to my address again? I have to move yeah, some just saying. Uh, yeah. uh, I just want some clarification from Mike. Uh, it's my understanding that the, uh, the two proposals for the mural, uh, the new murals, is that being considered this evening? Yeah, you might have to clarify something with me. And I, I do, do apologize. I asked everybody if we forgot something. We did forget this. So thanks, Dave. Yeah. Did you, we're going to, I'm going to discuss it right now once the public portion is done. Did you have anything else to just remind us? You wanted to remind us to approve this? Yeah. yeah. Let me just ask you one quick question. Sure. The mural, you said gave us several drawings, but nothing says this is the mural. I'm under the impression that this part over the front door, that'd be correct, and this part over the side, uh, that'd be close. What is all this other stuff? Is this just the resume aspect of it? Uh, that's well, a different bureau. Some is going to uh, and leaps. That, that, that's a different bureau. So there, that's a two, different bureau. There's yes. two bureaus for forty dollars. One of See, it doesn't. It doesn't clarify. It, it wasn't the email. It wasn't the email. Where's the email? Oh, I missed. <coughs> oh, it's too long. Too long. Yeah. Don't ever send emails. That's all. He doesn't bring us long emails. Don't ever send. I'm a big fan of on the drawing, kind of show what you want to do, what you're going to do. So, if there's anything else, Dave, we're going to consider this right now so that we can help out. I'm here to answer any questions you might have. All right. I appreciate it. The best of my ability. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not the artist. I'm not a journalist. I understand. You're here to be support. I'm a poet. I'm not an artist. Okay. So, please have mercy on me. Okay. No problem. Okay, Thank you. All right, is there anyone else who wishes to speak? I want to close the public Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. We have someone else. Just one more quick thing. Um, I'm sure you all have your advisors. You got to do your name and address. I'm Scott C. Now you've got Derek Rue. I've got this in New Jersey. Um, and I'm sure you all have your own advisors, but I'll leave all my business card and I work across multiple businesses with multiple municipalities. So happy to just you know throw back and forth some ideas. If you have any questions, so I'll leave my contact information. Thank you. I have a unique perspective being a business incubator working across with the CRC and with the city and with the entrepreneurs as well. So. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Is there anyone else from the public? Seeing no one else, can someone make a motion to close the public portion? I'll make that motion. I'll second it. 
Motion by Mr. Long, signed, second by Mr. Sassio. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. So now, since we don't have a formal application, but I, I think we've all tried to help. Yeah, we were trying to help. Help. So at this point, because when we did, uh, when we did do fun, we did so. I thought the signs could be all. Does anybody have any objections to Cook's Law? No. No, I don't have any objections. I just want to make sure that you're not going to be doing anything over what needs to be fixed. So from what I understand, because I did send an email to the applicant and said, would the rest of it be painted? There is another contractor that would be doing it. Well, it's not just the painting. It needs to be. There needs to be repair. And signage is not allowed unless it's right. pre-existing and uh, non-conforming. You can possibly allow pre-existing non-conforming. So I did, because this is why we need a formal application. This is exactly is the building should be repaired before the mural is, is, is put up. Oh, absolutely. So I'm hoping that that can be communicated very clearly that we care that this mural lasts and to paint it over top of broken siding or, or rotting trim around the windows, window sills would not make any sense. So that would be something that's important. If you can come up and be our advisor on this one. You're an advisor. I'm an advisor? Yes. So tell me. Okay. Um, when the, uh, the mural that went up between the... Uh, I'm, I'm right focused out, on this. Yeah, but it was a mural, mural that, that the word is, is up there. On the other side. What, what they did is they did, they did some issues as far as the flashing was concerned. They put a clear coat and they put, put a coat of paint to repair it because otherwise you're not going to... So is that it. exactly what's going to happen with this? Uh, it's my understanding, yes. Okay. Can I hold you to it? But, but make it a condition. Okay. So a condition that I would I would say in granting this one would be to say this we, we do care that it lasts yeah. and that it should be done in a proper proper way. So if you can convey that back to to Mike and that it can and I'll work sure. Now as you know, I don't maybe you don't know, part of the money that we are giving as these uh, business grants, Cook's Flores is part of this. Because yeah. you saw the stonework going up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at this point we have five thousand dollars that we're gonna to contribute towards the improvement of this building. Okay. So it's really important for us that this facade is fixed. Yeah, and, and I think it's important to what my class as well. Good. I, I really do. Yeah. All right. All right. Does, does anybody have any other concerns on, on, on this one for public? I have one question. Sure. When that, uh, those windows, is that glass going to be replaced? It's all smoked out. Do you have any idea about that? Uh, I, as far as I heard. Now, what, I, what we can say about that is part of the facade, the business, small business grant facade enhancement, Mike could use some of those funds to help do those windows. That's not what we're saying for the mural side. You know, we're just trying to be supportive of the mural. So you don't want to make that condition. That, that's a tough no, no, I'm just, I'm just curious, because I mean, if you're doing something that look nice, here. Yeah, I agree. Now this is Dave, I want you to go back to the group and explain this is exactly why we want to have this interaction. Because we want to be supportive, but there are questions about if you're going to improve the facade, enhance the facade, why wouldn't you do two all these other That's not a mural issue, that's the facade. Again. It's not, yeah. but, but I think what, what you know, brought to our attention is you, you, know, you don't want to, you have uh, something that's fixed, it needs to be fixed before it's over. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, any other comments? I have one thing. The resolution just making contingent on the terms and conditions to be ordered to be met in addition to okay. what you discussed just now. All right. Okay, we're going to do this one first and we'll talk about the other one. Uh, so, resolution 22, 121 would be to, uh, it would have to be subject to the terms and conditions of our ordinance. So, if there is a $50 fee, that fee would have to be paid. And that the applicant would have to fill out its application, submit it, and follow the ordinance. Does anybody have any objections? Well, once again, it says it right in our, our words. They have to, have to, have to fix the place up. I have one question. Can I get a copy of the words? Once it's signed by me, it becomes the law, and then you get a copy. Perfect. When it's done. That's fine. You were the exact It was signed. Oh, without the... Remember you told me we would wait because... We we'll take care. We'll take care. Thank you. Right. Dave will get as soon as it's okay. All right. Would someone like to make a motion to approve this with the condition set for it? I'll make a motion to approve this with the condition set for it. I'll second. All right. Motion by Ms. Pass second by Mr. Neary. Any other discussion? I have a question. If the mural is on two walls, is that two murals? No. 
No. We're looking at each building. Our ordinance, our ordinance only clarifies that, that uh, the mural is, is art. It's not a sign. So it's not subject to the rules. Thank you, Mr. Uh, it's one building. We're taking it as one building. And the way it was portrayed to us is it's a theme that, that goes, it wraps, wraps the front and the side of the building. I think it looks great. I think the snowboard that's going up there is great. That's facing wall. One side. One side is facing wall. You know, and uh, and we understand that it might be tweaked as the artist is working on it. It might change a little bit. But the, the general consensus is that we think so it's going in the right direction. So if you pay one fee to do this, one uh, 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 and then you do within five years, you you're doing the rest of the building, so you don't have to pay that. We have a new application because every you have to show it every, every, time you do, every time you do a new project. That yes. uh, if they're maintaining, it's just part of maintenance. Okay. Engineers all care about these. Uh, oh, it was a motion by Ms. Patsio, second by Mr. Neary. Roll call, please. We never did a roll. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mrs. Patsio. Yes. Uh, Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mr. Sapiro. Yes. And Mr. Yes. Okay. There was that. Uh, the second one, this, this is why you don't do wrong on the announcement. Uh, 117 goes back right back right So, that whole wall. Which wall are we talking about? So, this is not Mr. Leaf's property, this is Mr. Menz's property. That's right. All right, so Mr. Menz. So, I think if there's no objections, because uh, this almost doesn't even face the public, it only faces the gallery. I, I, once again, I think everything that's proposed always looks great. Um, the only thing I think, as long as Mr. Menz knows that he's responsible, it becomes his. I would say we do the same thing, condition that the property owner fills out the application, pays the fee, knows that it's their responsibility. And this building doesn't need the repair. Yeah, it's a better one. Yeah. But I would maybe recommend to Mr. Menz that he could apply for this facade enhancement grant. Um, maybe you should suggest that to him. Okay, and he can apply if there's anything else he's doing, you know, with the windows in the front of the building, things like that. Okay, so that would be resolution 22-122. This would be what's the address, 117 North. Uh, once again, with the condition set for the New York. Someone like to make a motion? I'll make that motion. I'll second motion. Motion by Mr. Lobstein, second by Mr. Sapiro. Okay, roll for it, please. Yes, Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Dave, for keeping us from being here this evening. You know, uh, this is where your professionalism, Mr. Lee's professionalism, would help us. You are a professional. Dave, Dave, I heard you getting paid. David, David. David. You are getting paid from someone. Are, are you going to talk about this? Wow. Okay. The best, the best way to go forward. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll Let them know this process was very simple. I don't think, I think Mr. Leap's concerns and the public's concern was that we were going to be critical of art. We were being critical of it. We just wanted to be communicating that we care about the, the building and handle it. The property owner knows his responsibilities. That's about it. And by having a resolution, you formalize it. No one can take away from each other. I don't know if it's the strongest that's not an ordinance. It's a ordinance or a planning board decision, but at least it shows. It's a solid ordinance. I like it. Well, I, I moved here to Rome Beagle uh, a little more than three, uh, three and a half years ago, uh, not even thinking that I'd be getting involved with anything. <laughs> but uh, this has been quite an experience for me. I'm thrilled to, be, thrilled to become as active as I am both in the Green Team as well as being on the Rome Beagle. Heard about the issues along the Black Rose Pike. You know, people say, well, the things are going down, business aren't, aren't doing well there. But you know something? I see golden opportunities. Mm -hmm. Running me is going up. Yep. Running me is going up. Uh, the mural is just one aspect of it. There are many other things. We now have a Chamber of Commerce, which I'm very pleased uh, it's a little long overdue. And there are many other things that are becoming as well. And uh, certainly anything that, uh, any, any ideas that we have, et cetera, et cetera, will be ready to bring forth to council because 
we need your input, we need, we need your advice, and sometimes even, even some critique based on some of the things we present because you see things a little differently than we see them. And we see things differently than you do. So we want to be able to blend together, and we want to be able to work together and have one of these go up. Appreciate it. Yeah. We, 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 we have unlimited potential. So let the group know. I'm not the bad guy. <laughs> Nobody's a bad guy. Well, they try to make you no, 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 Everybody has input. Everybody has something important to say. We may not agree as, as, as a lot of resolutions or this is not 100% if people agree with that either. Thank you. Did you have something? Hey, uh, the big thing is that, you know, why we look at this stuff is, uh, you know, we don't want to hamstring our future uh, colleagues, you know, uh, mayor, council. We're not going to be here forever. And we want to make sure, like, 10 years, 15 years down the road that the murals look good. You know, you guys go away. And that's the reason we're doing all this. You guys go away and the, nothing's tied in uh, formally, but, you know, then what happens to the murals? You know, we just don't want it to turn into graffiti down the road or you're, what you're doing down at the park with the uh, labyrinth, you know, great stuff. But you go away or your volunteers go away, what happens to the labyrinth then? Then it becomes, then it becomes part of the borough, you know, then we have another thing to take care of. And that our public works and everything, we have enough to take care of let alone taking on other projects, even though it enhances the town, but we want to make sure, and particularly right now in the time of COVID, I know it's almost over, and some people say it is over, I don't know. But it's still, it, it, I know, but it, it is still a staffing issue, and that's the big thing. So that's all I want to say. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for your input. It's, it's always valuable. It's always good to communicate back and forth. It's always good to have a meeting of the minds. We may not always agree on things, and that, that's fine. We're entitled to our own opinions, yeah, we don't. but we're, we're going to come. We're coming together. We're running me. She's running me. I, I can't get over how amazing this stand is. We're good. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. I think we did our public portion. We did those. Did you have something? Yes. Yes. The mural celebration Thursday, September the fifteenth at two p.m. The dedication of the new mural. That's going to be in the parking lot. Of course. That's what that's what you're here for. Yes, ma'am. Make sure you're thinking. Was there anything else, Chief? Did you have anything? No, I just want to say, uh, the only thing I had to say was that uh, I appreciate everybody comment for Captain Murray's luncheon. Uh, it was important to me. He's been a close friend of mine for 25 years and a top flight employee. And, He's part of the reason the police department, his leadership and hard work that we are in the situation we are in now. Thank you guys for your constant support and showing up there. Mrs. Kelly, Mayor, you guys say great things. I appreciate everybody taking time out of our schedule. It's important that we, anybody walks out of here, retires from the police department, any matter that we show them the proper respect, etc. It's important to make it very important. It's important that way you can see how lonely he was by everybody being here. Now I'm going to miss him, but yes. We'll be around. We'll be good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Seeing nothing else, would someone like to make a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Oh, second. Motion by Ms. Pascoe, second by Mr. Lobenstein. All in favor? Aye. All right, we adjourn at 8 19. Thank you.